You might find this strange and surprising, but um, making shoes out of upcycled materials has been on my list for a long time. And uh, I thought it'd be easier to start with slippers. And also I like to uh, get my wife a pair of slippers for Christmas every year and I always buy them from someone who makes them by hand, of course. And I try to find people that are making them out of upcycled materials as well. Um, but that's not good enough for me. I, of course, want to make everything myself. So I took it upon myself as a step towards my someday dream of making some upcycled shoes to make these slippers. And they are ugly and probably functional. And I have hours and hours of footage explaining how I made these. Um, and I think I'm going to delete it all because now that I've done this, I think I can do it better. And I'm going to try to do that right now. A couple of cereal boxes, a couple insoles, vinyl left over from upholstering a chair, and it's kind of like ostrich. You could probably get some other type of material as well from the scraps. Some of the stuffing left over from upholstering a chair. Pajama pants I had laying around. Okay, so I know my wife's shoe size, and I cut out some insoles and made templates based on those insoles out of this uh, kind of cardboardy material. I then used that template to cut out the actual sole out of cereal box cardboard. Uh, you see I'm tracing and just cutting it out. I also used that template to just rough out my other materials that I was going to use for the sole and the bottom of the foot. Now here I'm using more of the cereal box cardboard to make the top part of the slipper. I had cut out a, a piece of uh, like a trapezoid that was three inches on the toe end, five inches at the wide end, that I rounded it off by hand and by eye to make the, the tip of the shoe. Um, there you can see it kind of coming together in the shape that it will be. This is some leftover padding I had from when I reupholstered a sofa. Um, and I just use that to just give a little more cushion and warmth to the slippers. So then that magical spray glue helped me put them all together. I used the cardboard on top of the sole, and then I put those insoles in that I had cut, and then I put some of that fuzzy warm stuff, then the final fabric on top, just using all spray glue to get them nice and tight together. Did the same thing on the top, obviously without the insole. Now I tried sewing the edge of uh, the soles as well through this material here and it was messing the machine up a little bit, but it grabbed it a little bit and I wasn't too, too concerned because between the spray glue and the hand stitching I'm going to do next, uh, this is just an added precaution. Then I trimmed out the edge of the slipper around the edge of the cardboard, but I left about eighth of an inch of material outside the cardboard, so I didn't cut exactly on the cardboard, I left that little extra. I trimmed it up with a knife a little bit because I'm terrible with scissors. <laughs> I used some clamps to hold it together and then that little bit of extra material that I left around the edge of the cardboard I used to stitch it together. The string I'm using is a little bit thicker than normal thread. I don't really know what it is, I just had it. Um, but I was able to put it through the eye of an upholstery needle and, uh, and sew that up. But normal thread would probably work as well. And then a trick that I had learned, one of the only tricks I know about sewing is to use fire to just sort of melt the end of the thread. Now my, my wife has been wearing these slippers for a few days and I followed her around with the camera to just get some, some action shots of the slippers in action. She says they're actually comfortable and warm and um, those are like both way better than I expected. I just figured her she would tolerate them and I'd end up going to the store but so far they seem to actually work pretty well and uh, she's been wearing them every day since, I, since she got them. Part of my mission here is to explore all the possibilities for upcycling, because we know recycling is great, um, but upcycling is better because it doesn't require the, the heavy machinery and stuff. Like This is basically a no electricity build besides a sewing machine, and I'm not even sure that was necessary. Um, and it's all stuff that would have ended up in the landfill. Cutoffs, leftovers, cereal boxes, you know. Um, so here's a, just a prime example of what I'm exploring with my work here in my uh, my little corner of the world. And if you like what I do, uh, I would really appreciate your support on Patreon uh, to help me continue to find viable ways of reusing our 
precious resources. Thanks.